So the next one is, F, is iPhone analysis with autopsy, and I'm not going to bother demonstrating it live because it's very much like what you did with Android. You download this evidence file. Once again, there's a public uh, reservoir of forensic images called Digital Corpora, where people have put up images. And here's a relatively recent iPhone from 2021. So you download this thing. It's also pretty big, about five gigs. And uh, once you've got it, uh, you unzip it with 7-zip and then run it with autopsy. And again, you'll find uh, you can run this iOS analyzer to see what it has, and then you'll find the phone numbers that have been called are right here in the phone, and other things are there like the GPS data, the SMS data, and the um, use of the app called Signal for encrypted messages. Um, all these things are on there, and you can see what happened. Uh, this is something that has led to some sort of controversy over the last year. Uh, someone found out that you can see your encrypted Signal messages by analyzing the data from your phone, and they said, there, Signal's not end-to-end -end encrypted, and the developer said, no, 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 you don't understand. I mean, end-to-end -end encrypted means somebody in the middle recording the network traffic can't read it. Of course, if you have control of the endpoint, you can read the message. That's the point of it. If you own the phone and you're the endpoint, you can see the message, and therefore anybody getting the data from your phone can read the messages. No encryption can stop that. Um, but anyway, you will see Signal messages here. Even though it's encrypted, if you have the data from the endpoint phone, you've got those messages. So that's all I wanted to say about that one.